Hi and welcome or welcome back to the Teacher T channel. In this video we're going to take a brief look at percentage change and we're also going to work through how to calculate it as well. Now here are some examples, just some, of how you might be asked to calculate percentage change in your test or in your exam. It could be in regards to an increase in profit or a decrease. It could be actual loss. It could be increase in market share or a decrease in market share. It could be to do the sale discount that you have to calculate it if you're studying GCSEs. But also for A-levels, you need to know how to calculate percentage change in order to work out the elasticity. So it's very important that you do know how to calculate percentage change. And also it's important in your answer to remember to include the percentage sign because at times you can lose a mark if you do not include the percentage sign when you've given your final answer. Now this is the formula to calculate percentage change. Percentage change is calculated by dividing the difference between the two amounts by the original amount. So the change divided by the original and multiplying by 100. Now because it's a percentage, you need to ensure that you multiply it by 100. So in order to remember this formula, change of original, multiply by 100, here's a good way, here's a little tip for you. Cheese and onion. So the change, you could use the cheese to help you remember. Cheese and onion, so C over O times 100. So this is our first example of calculating percentage change. So it's very important to practice these things. A tech company made £80,000 profit in 2020 and £100,000 in 2021. Calculate the percentage change in profits. So we know that we're going to calculate change divided by original, multiply it by 100 to get our percentage change. So in order to work out the change that you could see, at the very top, we need to write this formula down. And it's always good to show your workings as well and include any formula. So new minus old divided by old multiplied by 100. So that's the new number minus the old number and divided by the old number or the original and multiply it by 100. And that's how we would get our percentage. So our new number in this scenario is the hundred thousand pounds profit and the old number is eighty thousand pounds profit in 2020 so then we put this information into our formula so the hundred thousand pounds minus the eighty thousand that is our change not the percentage change but that's a change in the cheese and onion formula so a hundred thousand pounds minus eighty thousand pounds gives us twenty thousand pounds we divide the 20,000 by 80,000, multiply it by 100, and this is our answer. 25% increase in profits. Let's look at another one. In a sale, the price of a laptop is reduced from 1,500 pounds to 840 pounds. Calculate the percentage decrease. So again, we're trying to calculate change over original, multiply by 100. So in order to calculate the change, it's new minus old. In this instance, the new is £840 and the old is 1500 So if we deduct the old number from the new number, we have 660 and we divide that by the old number, or original, and that's 1500 And we multiply that by 100. And our answer is... 44% decrease. Let's look at another one. Now let's look at our final example. A website had 120,000 views in February. It had 185,200 views in June. Work out the percentage increase in views to two decimal places. So again, we're using change over original multiplied by 100. So you can pause the video now if you'd like to work out the calculation. But I'll continue. So the change works out to be 65,200 and we divide that by the old or the original which is 120,000 
and we times it by 100 in order to get the percentage. And this is what might come up in your calculator, which should do. And to get it to two decimal places, the answer would be 54.33, and that's an increase. So thank you for watching this video. There will be more calculation videos. Do let me know in the comments if there's something in particular that you would like to watch in terms of calculations. And please do subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when the other videos are out. Until next time, thank you. Thank you.